justement, dans la pierre, il y a un grand secret. Stone hides a great secret. The stone secret is that it hides a prison, a prison created by God. Every prisoner needs to be freed, and God has chosen people like us to give them the key to their freedom. I am proud to be among the people who free up the ideas imprisoned in stone. This sculpture represents a family reunion from many years ago, from the time of our grandparents. Before, in Africa, each member of the family had a particular task. Children stayed at home while the adults went in search of food. This symbolizes a family reunion. There's the grandfather, the head of the family. He's the hunter. The women harvest crops and the men fish. Art is something profound. It involves looking at an object, finding something within it, and bringing out what you found. That's what art is. At the other end of the continent, in South Africa, we find Willie Bester, an artist who recycles scrap metal to build his pieces. He is an artist committed to the history and the present of his country. Through his work, he attempts to speak about the horrors of apartheid. The very house in which he lives is a work of art. He has shaped it over time to form a sculpture. I used to play a role of a watchdog, and artists should play a, uh, that type of role, where you monitor um, the government of the day. And if they make any mistakes that look similar than the old ones, then you just keep them on their toes by producing art that um, they can see how they can sort of transform this, this uh, country. I built heavy political uh, sculptures sometimes, and then you sometimes need a break. And it was during that break that I did uh, the saxophone player. Yeah, there's the AIDS, there's uh, also people uh, are very selfish, they throw away everything. So for me, it's about recycling as well. I think it's a global issue here because our biggest problem ahead will be the issue of water. For me, it's much bigger than the apartheid system or any government system. The water is a very universal one, and um, I incorporated a lot of, of taps and valves into the, into the house. Yeah, this chair is called poverty driven. It's the, driven by poverty. This can, you see the, the wheel can move. Yeah. And this is what is left after you serve in the workplace as a poor person. Yeah, this is the leftovers. No, it is, it is a, a comfort which is created on the expense of the poor. That's why you see the spades was used by the poor in order to bring this new system, whatever. Jamana 
Fembeke make me be man sake ni bulu. Adumu nyate. Ayaka jamana kono mogo. Aiwa mara make. Alaya ke kuna toni di. Si ma bulu ma ima soro. Mbe musu mbe ndi musu taka doma. Ube ko musu. Aiwa mi mbara yele. Jamana kono mogo inara. Ke be nara. Mi mbara yele. Ube be. Ke mi mbara yele. Masake le doko. Aye dugu ke dalade. Kafo jeli bai. Kasa ni duneta. Kawa di duneta. Mi mbara uta musu. Iye ko musu le marama kudunindi. Luba te dia. Luba te dia. Misi ba no na manabi. Luba te dia. Luba te dia. Luba te dia. Ma luba kini manabi. Luba te dia. Ne e jeli adege. Mba fe. I'm a griot. I learned this trade when I was very young, from my mother. She told me that we were the bearers of a great secret, that we were the keepers of tradition. That's why it's my duty to transmit this to my granddaughters. Fanta Diabate is the most veteran of the women griots of Kela, in the heart of the Mande, the most sacred area for the Mandingo people, the site where their culture was born. In the Mande, as in the rest of traditional Africa, culture and oral tradition are one and the same. Fanta Diabate is the matron of a large family of 65 members, in which all, without exception, are griots. Her husband is Lasana Diabate, known as the Grand Griot of the Monday. A griot plays a very important role in our society. He or she is in charge of communicating all events, whether happy or sad. We are masters of words, and we are the keepers of history. This village is the center of our tradition, of all Mande culture. They call on us from all over the region to ask one of us to attend weddings or celebrations, or to commemorate the heroic deeds of our ancestors. In the center of the village of Kela stands the word tree. Every afternoon, the elders and the most influential men of the village meet there. They speak of relevant issues such as the annual millet harvest, inheritances, or the latest results of the Mali national football team. As a griot, we can't build the body of instruments. The caste of smiths possesses that knowledge. Tradition tells us that if we want to have an instrument, we must bring the smith white coconut wood, some kola nuts, and a hen. The blacksmiths are a separate caste, related by marriage to the griots through their noble ancestry. Mali became a modern state several decades ago, but its traditional power structure remains intact. The griots, together with the blacksmiths, are the soul and memory of the mandate.